students hope you have seen my first video on active and passive voice in that video i have given you the basic things of uh, simple present tense simple past tense and simple future tense and also the pronoun changes how the pronoun changes and all i have uh, explained you today we will see the other tenses present continuous tense past continuous tense and future continuous tense active voice doesn't have passive voice so i have not given any example here and it will not come for your exam and here i have taken again present perfect past perfect future perfect so let us see in present continuous tense present continuous tense means a thing is that in going in process so i have given an example my grandmother is telling a story to the children here my grandmother is a subject is telling is the verb and a story is the object and this is to the children that is the indirect object okay so we can take uh, i am taking the direct object what is being told so we should not bother about this and we should bother about only this okay so i have already told sves will become ovs okay so here the continuous tense you should see in continuous tense being you will add ing whenever the action verb it will be in third form in passive voice all the verbs will be in action verbs will be in third form and there will not be any tense change so let us see a story a story is singular so it is a present continuous tense so i have written a story is being being shows the continuous tense of this sentence in active voice okay a story is being told told tell told told okay so third form is told a story is being told by my grandmother to the children okay that is direct object children is the indirect object you can write uh, the children are being told that also correct okay so we can see only the direct object indirect object no need uh, whatever it is take the things serious so uh, take this thing also a simple manner so that you will not be in problem children is plural so the children are being told by my grandmother a story like that also you can write that is not wrong i will say okay here see the pattern the format you have to write object plus is or being as per the object whether it is singular or plural you should think that is or plus being plus verb 3 plus by plus subject and then the other things the indirect object like that okay so now see the past continuous tense in past continuous tense it is rosy was buying these books for her library rosy is the subject was buying is a verb these books is object for the li for her library for her library is an adjunct no need for change that okay so these books is plural these books is plural so it cannot it will not come is here it is was so it is past continuous so plural for uh, or is were okay so these books were see children these books were being i have already told continuous tense will hold this being okay you should uh, keep it in the mind what is the rules these books were being bought by bought bought verb 3 for by is bought so these books were being bought by rosy for her library so what is the pattern object plus was or were plus being plus verb 3 plus by plus subject and the additional things whatever comes you can add here okay so keep it in mind the third one see present perfect in present perfect all the students have completed the assignment all the students have completed that is present perfect tense have or has when the sentence has have or has plus verb 3 that sentence is present perfect tense okay so let us see how this changes the assignment so all the students is subject have completed is the verb the assignment is the object here so the assignment the object is coming here the assignment is singular so singular will have has okay so i we you they will have have i have 
we have they have you have okay he she it will come as she has he has it has so this is it the assignment is it it has been so when in present perfect tense the be form of the verb changes to b e e n this shows that this sentence is present perfect in the active voice so in the passive voice this been helps us to convert the sentence into active voice the assignment has been completed by the students so here comes a pattern in how we are converting into the passive voice object comes first then have or has as per the object if it is singular it will come has if it is plural it will come have so object plus have or has plus being e and been plus verb 3 plus by plus subject plus adjunct whatever that comes additional words you need not bother about that only you have to see only subject verb object okay now comes your past perfect in the past perfect see children the farmers the farmers had plowed plowed means what they are preparing the land by uh, uh, mixing the soil using the plowing uh, machine machineries okay so the farmers had plowed these lands as a part of initial preparation okay here farmers subject had plowed verb these lands object as a part of initial preparation you need not bother about this extra things that is in the that is given in the sentence let us see how we are converting this past perfect into passive voice this active voice into passive voice so these lands sorry i have not written here these lands it is very easy to convert past perfect tense these lands no need for thinking have or has only had will be added with b e e n already you have seen present perfect has that b e e n same as past perfect will also have this b e e n so these lands had been plowed 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 three plow is a present uh, verb one present tense for plowed is verb one this is past and past participle verb 3 is past participle these lands had been plowed by the farmers as a part of initial preparation see this as a part of initial preparation doesn't have any change it will come as it is see the format object plus had plus been plus been that means been is been plus verb 3 plus subject this pattern you should this rule you should keep in mind for converting active into passive voice now let us see children future perfect future perfect my friends will have played football in the stadium so here the modal verb comes so how we are changing the modal verbs football football is the object here football will have been played by my friends in the stadium see in the model you should keep in mind object plus it may come will or shall or can could would should may might must ought to uh, need to dare all these things when comes you have to add have plus been perfect is that so you have to add have plus been will will have will not have any has or had will or shall or would or should will have always have Uh, with them assigned to them so this is the rules you should keep in mind object plus the modal verb plus have plus been plus verb 3 plus subject if this sentence comes it is the easiest one for you to write thank you for listening this children keep it mind and uh, please work out uh, your examples from the book and you will learn a lot thank you